Welcome to the NFL Week 16 Thursday Night Football Player Props video here with the Lineups team. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Malstrom and Will Schwartz. We got the Saints traveling to face the Rams, both teams sitting at 7-7. Seven and seven. Heavy, heavy playoff implications in this game, so crucial one for both teams. Should see the best effort from a lot of these players, which is fun to watch. And Schwartz, I'm going to go to you first. What's your favorite player prop pick on the board? Yeah, if you go back to the uh, game picks video, we talked a lot about how this Rams offense, it's become a really tough unit as they've gotten some guys healthy, and I think they're going to be hard to stop. It all starts through the air with Matt Stafford, so I'm going over one and a half passing touchdowns for Stafford at minus 135. Touchdowns can be a little bit fluky, but I think this is a very uh, live number. It's a little bit of juice, but it really should hit. He should have a lot, plenty of opportunities against what I think has become kind of an overrated Saints defense. Uh, I think the Rams should be going to the air plenty, so I'm always happy to back Stafford, and this is a great opportunity. Yeah, like it. Uh, we talked about it early in the year. His touchdowns were not where they should have been based on how well he was playing, but definitely seems to have flipped in his direction now, especially with healthy Cooper Cup and Piku Nakua. So like that look. Cody, where are you going? Yeah, oh, man. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those 99% public square picks. Um, we're going Kyron Williams over rushing yards. I, I can't I, I I can't not back it. Like he's he's been the focal point of the offense. He has done absolute wonders for the whole like rest to open up everything for them. And we're talking about a Saints defense who is now 30th in overall defensive DVOA the past few weeks. And a big part of that has been their inability to stuff the run as of late. They have dipped to 24th and rush defense DVOA as a whole over the full course of the season. And a big part of that is their defensive line getting pushed back in the run schemes, 21st in defensive defensive adjusted line yards. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And Kyron Williams has been running absolute crazy. If it wasn't for Raheem Mostert having just an ungodly legendary season, Kyron Williams would be right up there with him. Um, I think he once again is going to just absolutely feed into opportunity, uh, feed into all of his carries. And then we're all on the Rams. I think the Rams are going to pull away in this one as well. Where so now we're talking about a heavier late game game script for just more opportunities to carry. And the, the Rams stay aggressive over all four quarters of the game. Yeah, I think this is a Kyron Williams rushing smash spot for me. Yeah, both seem to finally be realizing how damn good Kyron Williams is because his rushing yard is prop was. I think it was like in the seven. There was there was a point where it was in the sixties earlier a couple of weeks ago. But yeah, eighty eight and a half. It's it's a lofty number, but I still lean the the over on it. Um, I, I read it up for my player props article. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play it just because it, it is a high number. But I mean, it's hard not to. He's averaging just under 125 rushing yards per game since returning from the injury. And like Cody said, the Saints' run defense is absolutely falling apart. Uh, the defensive linemen being out, Malcolm Roach and Peyton Turner have also been an issue. One angle I like on Connor Williams here is first touchdown score. You can get it plus 410 on Bet Rivers. I just think it's a, a more high upside way to play Kyron Williams in this game. You're still betting on him having success, but his touchdown prop, it's ballooned up to minus 210 on some bucks. So certainly expecting him to score a touchdown at some point in this game. And I've, I think it's highly likely that the Rams are the first team to score here. When they get down to the goal line, they're going to give the ball to Kyron. They always do. And at plus 410, I just think you're getting a nice number on that play. So I like that as a juicy way to get some value on Kyron in this game. But Schwartz, any thoughts on Kyron Williams here? Or is there a different prop that you want to chat out here? Yeah, I'm fine with him scoring uh, the first touchdown as long as it's on a screen. But uh, yeah, I was looking at Kyron's numbers. But the, like you said, the books have caught up a little bit. I think the number's a little too high for me to touch. But it, it really should hit. I'm leaning that way. I made it very close to getting into the script for this video for me. Uh, but I just have one more play, and it's kind of like a double play. We're going to go a half unit each on, here's my defensive prop for the game, over a quarter sack for two guys. One is Carl Granderson at plus 124. The other is Demario Davis at plus 210. They've both been over this each of the past two games. I'd call that buying high, but you saw the numbers. That's not Those are not high odds, especially Davis. I think that, I mean, you just, at plus odds for both, you just need one to hit in order to make some money. And I do think that you can get both, especially since it's a, it's a quarter sack. So all you need is a half sack. You could get both of those on the same play, which I know is incredibly niche, but it just doesn't seem particularly realistic that neither of them would get a half sack unless the Rams completely keep uh, the Saints blanked, which I guess if they really pull away, it could happen. But the odds, the line isn't really implying the Rams just completely running away with it. Just more of a comfortable win. 
Yeah, I, I don't mind those looks. Uh, just to shout out, Carl Granderson is on the injury report, listed as questionable with a shoulder issue, but I, I would expect him to play as of right now. So I would just monitor that one. If he's good to go, I, I, I wouldn't expect that to really be an issue that's going to limit his snap count. So just monitor that to see if he's going to end up playing. Um, one flyer I like in this game, if you want a long shot touchdown score, is Jawan Johnson on the Saints side of the ball. You get him at 6-1, to one, plus 600 on Caesars right now. He scored last week, and he's seen an increased role in the red zone without Michael Thomas. Uh, Chris Olave could also be out this week, so Saints could just become more reliant on their tight ends here. The issue is they have a lot of tight ends. Uh, Foster Moreau and Jimmy Graham also get snaps. Taysom Hill is obviously sort of a tight end as well. The Rams have been pretty vulnerable against the tight end position, allowing 58 receiving yards per game. It's the seventh most in the NFL. Ultimately, it's just an upside play for me at 6-1 to one odds. Make sure you're uh, line shopping. Get the best numbers on those touchdown props. You can also play Jimmy Graham. Uh, he's at plus 650 on FanDuel right now. If you want to sprinkle a little bit on each of those, I, I think one of those guys gets in the end zone here. And Derek Carr just kind of quietly playing some decent football lately. So I don't I don't mind the look uh, for either tight end in this game. Cody, anything else player prop-wise for you? Yeah, I guess sticking with the theme of tight ends, or, well, really, I guess every position, this isn't an official play. My only official play is the Kyron Williams rushing. I am going to look at Taysom Hill anytime touchdown. Um, his number's bouncing around. It's as low as 170. It's as high as plus 230. Yeah, I, Derek Carr has been. I, I'll give him his flowers. I'm, I'm a Derek Carr hater, but he has been playing quietly pretty well. But his red zone issues... They still linger, and, and I don't understand it. And we saw the Saints midseason just honestly just opt in to like Taysom Williams or Taysom Hill just take over in the red zone. It was it was their best course of action. They still uh, deploy him at a decent rate when in the red zone. I think we're going to continue to see that. The Rams defense has improved, but they're still only a league average at best. If the Saints offense is still as comparable as it have been these past few weeks, I think they'll, they'll still find themselves in scoring position here or there. And they're going to have to maximize on uh, scoring opportunities to match the Rams scoring pace. And I think their best course of action is to uh, let Taysom Hill do his thing. And hopefully he punches one in for this. Not an official play yet. I want to look more into it their past few games, red zone numbers. But yeah, as of right now, um, I am looking at Taysom Hill anytime touchdown. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, Schwartz, any other props for you here? No, just those, uh, well, kind of three, kind of two. Uh, you want me to get back into the recap? Or are we all pretty much set? Are we all pretty much set? I have one more to shout out. Uh, it's not an official play for me yet, more just a lean. Um, I don't really like betting on Derek Carr, but <laughs> Derek Carr's playing some decent football lately, and I, I think his passing artist prop is a little bit undervalued here. Um, he's been held under the listed number of 218.5 and in two straight weeks, but... You look at those two games, extreme positive game scripts against the Panthers and the Giants. They went pretty run heavy towards the end of those games. I don't see that being the case this week. Rams obviously four-point favorites. If you watched our game picks video, you know we all like the Rams here. So you look at the game script, and I think Derek Carr's going to have to be passing the ball in the second half. Um, Rams defense has been surprisingly solid, but... They have been vulnerable against passing uh, against the passing game a little bit. They've allowed 11 of 14 quarterbacks to go over. Sorry, it's 10 of 14 quarterbacks to go over this number. Last week, technically, the combination of Sam Howell and Jacoby Brissett went over. So you can kind of count that as a hit. But 11 out of 14 games where they're allowing over 218 and a half passing yards. And Carr still has 218 plus in three of the last four games. So combine that with a game script and a, a somewhat of a vulnerable Rams pass defense. Don't see the Saints running the ball uh, very effectively here. Rams have been quietly very good against the run game. So I think this is a decent look for Derek Carr um, if you need another prop in this game. But we can get into the recap. Schwartz, you can recap your picks. Yeah, we'll do that dual play where it's a half unit each on uh, both Carl Granderson and Demario Davis to get over a quarter sack. And then we're just going to go Matt Stafford over one and a half touchdowns. And Cody, your picks. Uh, Kyron Williams over 88 and a half rushing yards and not an official play, but Taysom Hill anytime touchdown, most likely going to fire on that. But like I said, I want to look at some more red zone stuff over their last few games. Yeah. And then I just have a couple of flyers in this game that I like, which are going to be Kyron Williams first touchdown score at plus 410 and then Jawan Johnson anytime touchdown at plus 600 and then a lean to Derek Carr over 218 and a half passing yards. 
if you need something for prize picks or something like that, I, I think that's a good inclusion there. But overall, should be a pretty fun game here. A lot of playoff implications. Check out our game picks video for our thoughts on the spread and the over under in this prime time game. Uh, like and subscribe. Get notified when all of our NFL content comes up. A lot of big games coming this weekend that we're all really excited for. So should be a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this game. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.